Throughout the pandemic, many of us were limited in social interactions with one, another, with one another. As things began to reopen, a lot of us got to see family and friends once again, but for those in nursing homes, they haven't always been as lucky. As the holidays approach, our Tristan Lewis highlights a state organization that is trying to put a bright spot on the lives of some of our older and vulnerable adults. Tristan. Shira, some good news in the nursing home world. Recent COVID-19 guidance from the CD CMS states visitation should now be allowed for all residents at all times. And even with this good news, the Idaho Commission on Aging invites everyone to reach out to facilities and write a letter to a resident this holiday season. Isolation throughout the past 18 months is a feeling quite a few of us have gotten pretty familiar with. Unfortunately, residents in nursing homes and assisted living facilities are still dealing with some of that loneliness. These facilities are home for the residents and, you know, there's, they've been on lockdown. The community within the building has been impacted. Their ability to see their families has been impacted. Steve LaFort with Cascadia of Boise describes the past year as brutally sad and difficult for residents, their families and staff. Everything has been turned on its head. But newly updated guidance from the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services has him feeling a little more hopeful this holiday season. That opens up visitation in, in all the buildings across the country. And that's a really positive step. It was time and we want to start working on creating community for our residents again. Even with facilities starting to welcome more visitors again, the holiday season can still be a lonely time for residents that don't get a lot of communication from family. The Idaho Commission on Aging wants to fix that and invites all Idahoans to get involved. We're just asking people to bring a bright spot to, to their day and just send letters. Previously working at a nursing home, Janet Miller knows just how impactful letters and cards can be for residents. We had a 4-H club that sent letters and there was Joanne Gentleman in particular that was so excited he brought that card around. He showed it to everyone that worked there. The person that had sent the letter had written jokes in there, and I think I heard those jokes 10 times. Miller asks for people to write personal stories like how their day was or hobbies they're interested in. She says that's how residents are able to connect with someone, which is what they're looking for. I think that sometimes um, long-term care, nursing homes are misunderstood, the role that they play in providing care in the community. And I think when the community comes together and supports them and supports our elderly, our seniors, our vulnerable adults who are in these facilities, I, I think it's a great thing. And for those who would like to connect with a resident, Miller says just reach out to a nearby center. Many have activity and program directors that will help find residents in need of some interaction. And the Idaho Commission on Aging also has a pen pal program that lasts year round. So it doesn't just have to be during the holidays to write a letter. Shira. What a wonderful thing we can all do during this holiday season, right? Definitely. Thanks, Tristan.